Between Ghostbusters, Spaceballs, and Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, Rick Moranis earned his status as one of the great comedy icons of the 80s. Sadly, the actor has since stepped away from the camera, leaving us to wonder exactly what happened. Here's what we know about Rick Moranis leaving Hollywood, in his own words. Family Man Moranis stopped appearing in live-action movies after his wife Anne died of breast cancer in 1997. Immediately after, he shifted his focus to raising their two children. In the rare interviews he's given over the years since her passing, Moranis has remained nonchalant about his decision to become a stay-at-home dad. In 2015, he told The Hollywood Reporter, I took a break, which turned into a longer break. Fiercely protective of his children, he won't even reveal their names to the press. It's not unusual. These days, giving up a multi-million dollar movie career at its peak might seem like a crazy idea. But when he made his decision to leave Hollywood, Moranis didn't think he was doing anything out of the norm. He told the podcast Bullseye with Jesse Thorne, Stuff happens to people every day, and they make adjustments in their lives um, for all kinds of reasons. And um, there was nothing unusual about um, what happened or, or what I did. In fact, Moranis believes people only paid attention at the time because he was walking away from money and fame. Because I came from celebrity and fame and what, and what was a peak of a career, that was intriguing to people. And to me, it wasn't that. It wasn't anything to do with that. It was just work, and it was time to make an adjustment. Missing the action. Moranis described a lot of sameness when it came to raising kids. So he admitted to Bullseye that there were certain parts about acting that he did actually miss. I missed the people, and um, I miss the, the very refreshing nature of doing something radically different every day. Still, he didn't look back with any regrets. He said later to The Hollywood Reporter, I found lots of joy and lots of rewards in other places. I was working with really interesting people, wonderful people. I went from that to being at home with a couple of little kids, which is a very different lifestyle, but it was important to me. I have absolutely no regrets whatsoever. My life is wonderful. Don't call it a comeback. Contrary to many reports, Moranis maintains that he never actually retired from show business. Case in point, he's done a ton of voice work over the years, including radio commercials and Disney's Brother Bear film series. He's also done some op-ed contributing for the New York Times. So if you want to know how many sings he has, you're in luck. Spoiler alert, it's five. Moranis has also released two albums over 10 years. The first, The Agoraphobic Cowboy, earned him a Grammy nomination for Best Comedy Album. The second, My Mother's Brisket and Other Love Songs, hit stores in 2013. In other words, he's totally still around. You just have to listen more carefully. Howdy, I'm Rick. How are you, man? Hello. It's always swell to run across another oatmeal fan. All in good time. Naturally, when a star as big as Moranis takes a break from making movies, the question's going to come up. When will he be back? For years, Moranis dodged that question, often implying that acting just wasn't on his radar. In 2006, he told USA Today, I'm a single parent, and I just found that it was too difficult to manage raising my kids and doing the traveling involved in making movies. I found that I really didn't miss it. In the last few years, I've been offered a number of parts in movies, and I've just turned them down. I don't know whether I'll go back to it or not. However, in 2015, Moranis admitted to The Hollywood Reporter that he's potentially interested in pursuing live-action roles in the future. It's just going to have to be the right one, saying, I still get the occasional query about a film or television role, and as soon as one comes along that piques my interest, I'll probably do it. I'm happy with the things I said yes to, and I'm very happy with the many things I've said no to. Yes, I am picky, and I'll continue to be picky. Picky has worked for me. Who you gonna call? Paul Feig's much-anticipated Ghostbusters reboot is among the many scripts that have come to Moranis over the years. Despite the cameos from Bill Murray, Dan Aykroyd, and Sigourney Weaver, Moranis turned the project down. The reason? It didn't appeal to him. He told The Hollywood Reporter, I wish them well. I hope it's terrific, but it just makes no sense to me. Why would I do just one day of shooting on something I did 30 years ago? Fair enough, but we're still pretty bummed he said no. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to watch more videos like the one you just saw, and leave us a comment to let us know your favorite Rick Moranis role.